How are we YouTube? It's BrokeBoy2000 here with another YouTube video. As always, if you enjoy the content, hit that like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, leave a comment, tell me what you enjoy, tell me what you don't like, and more importantly, go to the link in the description, come to the Twitch channel, say good day, get involved with the live recording of some of the stuff. Because I admit, it's a bit of fun recording for YouTube, and it's important to do as we head towards the back end of FIFA 21 and on the road to FIFA 22. But yeah, let's get into the real reason we're here. I'm actually going to go down to the squad selector. This is my team. As you can see, it's very nice, but there's always improvements to be made. So without further ado, let's start with the team of the seasons, because we're going to be looking at the Bundesliga team of the season content that's come out over the last two days. We're going to tell you which cards are good, which cards are bad, which cards are bang average. So we'll start with the best one, Lewandowski. Now, he's six foot, he's high medium, he's got a five star weak foot upgrade, which weak foot in this FIFA is not as important, I find. It is a bit important. Four star weak foot is nice, five stars even better. Skills is good, but Lewandowski's not really much of a skiller, so you're not trying to skill with him. And then you've got high medium work rates on an attacker, very nice, good pace, insane shooting. He's got very good passing for a striker, so he may fit that false nine role quite well if that's something you're interested in. He's also got 85 agility and 91 balance along with 99 reactions and 98 ball control and 94 dribbling, 97 composure as well. Absolutely insane. He's got 99 heading, 94 jumping, 96 strength. Absolutely nuts. And he's got solid play of finesse goal, finesse shot outside the foot and the chip shot trait, which I don't know if that actually does anything because it's a computer trait. But yeah, it's a solid card. Is it better than his team of the year? I don't know because I don't have his team of the year. I would, if you picked this card up as a red, I would definitely get behind it and say, oh, that's a really good card, try and fit him in. But obviously, everyone's got their team sort of made up, and if you're really sending for the Bundesliga upgrades and you get him, make an effort to use him. Then we've got Kimmich, who is another card that had a team of the year. He's high medium, he's three star skills, which is there, eh, because he's a, he's a CDM, realistically. And he's got four star weak foot, which is nice. He's five foot nine. He has those Bayern links. He's club hullet. If you put a hunter on him, he's essentially club ninety. Let's be honest. Or even even a hawk would do the trick. But he's got that. Those pace splits are a bit meh. Acceleration isn't the worst. I mean, he's pretty good actually. So that's nice. His shooting is very nice, he's got 81 finishing which you might want to improve, good shot power, good long shots, his penalties are sus but who really takes penalties these days. Then you've got the passing which is very nice, everything except the free kicks is nice. Then he's got that good agility and balance, reactions 99, ball control 96, dribbling 94, composure 96, absolutely insane, his defending is top notch, got those tackling stats. Heading is a bit mad, but he's 5'9", and he can jump a bit. And he's got that 99 aggression as well. And he trades leadership trait. I don't know whether that does anything in-game, but it's a card that won't be that expensive, considering his rating. Because he's got the team of the year, obviously. He's not as sought after, and you'll see why. You'll see German CDM, and you'll see why this card probably isn't the one that people want as much. Then we've got Jaden Sancho, who is absolutely insane. He's got 5'11", 5-star, 4-star, high medium, which is just perfect for him. He was 5-star skills, but he's now got 4-star weak foot, which really helps on that wing, especially the right side that he's on. Then we have 96 pace, which is rapid. 94 shooting, which is 99 attack position, 99 finishing is very nice. His long shots are a bit sus, but do you really care about long shots? Not particularly. 99 vision, 94 crossing on the wing is very good. Short pass is good. His curve's good as well. Free kicks you're not really expecting, because surely you've got someone better for free kicks. Dribbling 
is essentially maxed. He's got his 98, 97, 94, then he's got 99 dribbling and 94, I mean, 98 ball control. And then he's got 99 stamina, which is good if you play four to, if you play a formation where your wingers are expected to run up and down and keep up with the defense. Then we've got the card that I think everyone wants to get in their reds, me included, because he would get a strong link to my Marco Royce foot birthday. Leon Goretzka, who is club 90, 90 pace, 90 shooting, 93 passing, 94 dribbling, 92 defense, 93 physical, 6 foot 2, high medium, 4 star, 4 star. He is, he's got the, I mean, Sancho's traits, we didn't look at, finesse shot, flare, outside the foot, yeah, very good traits, very good traits there, but Goretzka, He's got everything good except for his pens on the shooting. His agility and his balance are a little bit less, but he is a bit taller. So you might want to put an engine on him just to help those stats out. But everything else is pretty good. His defending's nuts. He's got 94 stamina, 94 strength, 92 aggression. And his jumping stat doesn't matter as much considering where he plays on the... where How tall he is, I mean. And then he's got not really any good traits. Then we've got Neuer, who, again, has a team of the year, which is actually better than this card. Four-star weak foot and a goalie, I don't know if it matters, he's six foot four, which is actually pretty tall. Then he's got, I mean, goalie stats, you can't really say much about, but it's coming to that point where everyone's got crack teams, so you sort of need a good goalie. I have Thibaut Courtois, team of the season, and Manuel Neuer will do a job for you if you have a Bundesliga side or a German side, even an icon. Even a centre-back, Lothar Mateus, would do the job, but who really has that card? I think that's the mid, or the baby, but who cares? Then we've got Haaland. Now, the one flaw with Haaland is that they didn't give him an upgrade. He is high-high. So, I don't know if he's quite suited as a striker. Like, yes, he's a good card. He's 95 rated. He is 6'4". He does have mad pace. He's got 99 sprint speed, 90 acceleration. He's got the shooting stats all above 90. 99 finishing, 99 shot power. His agility and his I mean, his agility is 91, but his balance is only 81, so an engine might be the play for him. He's got 99 reactions, 94 ball control, 99 composure, 91 dribbling. He's got 91 stem, 99 strength, 96 aggression, and decent jumping, but he is 6 foot 4. And then... An underrated, actually, Haaland's traits. I forgot about his traits. He's got the speed dribbler trait. And then we've got Muller, who is very underrated for his, for what he is. Six foot one, high high. Four star, four star, which is nice. He has everything in the 90s in the first four. 90 pace, 93 shooting with some... With 96 finishing and 96 volleys. Like, I don't know if you're really thinking of taking a volley with Thomas Muller. But it's there. Then you've got very good passing. 94 passing, including 97s for vision and crossing. 96 on short pass. And then 90 on... 93 on curve, sorry. 90 in agility and 88 in balance, which isn't the worst. 99 reactions, 99 ball control, 99 composure. 93 dribbling. Then he's actually got a good stand and tackle, which is nice in the midfield, because not many people seem to slide nowadays, unless it's a last gasp thing. And then the physical 99 stam, 90 jumping. His aggression is only 80, but I'm sure you can make up for that. And he's got solid player, which is me, it just means he doesn't get injured as much. Leadership and outside the foot shot, which might be a good one to have. Then we go to Kingsley Coman who is 4-star skills, but 3-star weak foot. He's medium-low, which is a bit... Considering you'll play him probably on the wing, or you'll think that he's good enough to play striker. I don't know if the work rates really help this card. 5-10, not the worst. Good French links, good Bayern links as well. 98 pace, very nice. 90 shooting is very nice as well, but a 3-star weak foot, if you get him on that, left foot, which is going to be a bit sus, especially the cross-goal shots, you might want to be careful. 87 passing, 
obviously could be better, but that's what the engine or the catalyst is there for. Probably not a catalyst because you don't want to boost his pace that much. And then 95 agility, 91 balance. His composure's a bit down. It's only 82, but he's got good stance everywhere else. Mare stamina, mare strength, but strength on the winger isn't the most important. Hummels is just there because he's there. Like, his pace splits are a bit horrific, but who really cares? He's got decent shot power for a centre-back, and he's got decent pens. He's got decent passing, too. Like, he's got 96 long pass, 92 short pass, so he can play it out from the back if you need it. Just don't rely on him for a free kick. And he's got 89 vision, which actually isn't the worst. Dribbling, he's got decent. He's got light greens and almost everything except for balance, which you could probably put an engine on, or a shadow, or a catalyst. I mean, not a catalyst. I mean, an engine wouldn't improve his pace enough, so you probably need a catalyst if you really want to help. Then we've got his defending. His defending is absolutely nuts. He's got 95 stand tackle, 98 interceptions, 94 heading, 97 defensive awareness, and then he's got 98 strength, 81 aggression, but he is six foot three. He is high, high on a centre back. I'm not sure how that would work. I mean, he also has leadership, long passer. He has power header and outside the foot shot. That would be a weird combo on a centre back. And then we have one of the best cards on this game. Taps over. Six foot four, medium high, two star, three star on a centre back. Doesn't really matter because you're not expecting much in terms of skill moves. Maybe you just want the odd pass with the weak foot, but three star weak foot will suffice in that scenario. He is about two hundred and something k because he's an eighty five and eighty six rated squad. You will craft that during the week. You will, like you definitely will. I will try and get this card done at some point because I think he's absolutely nuts. 89 pace. He's, he's got good shot power, good pens, 96 pens, Jesus. Then he's got good long pass and short pass, which is nice for a centre-back. You want to be able to rely on them to play it out. Then he's got very good agility and balance for a centre-back as well. Decent reactions, decent composure. Then he's got 91 interceptions, 91 heading. He's got... Very nice stats. 97 stand tackle for a centre-back. He's got that 92 strength. Jumping isn't the most important at his height. And then, yeah. Then we go down to a few more. We've got a few more in terms of content. We've got Sabitza. Dirty Mike, as they call him. Dirty Mike LaBelle. Three-star, four-star. And this card is actually less expensive than his Team of the Year SBC. Which, if you remember... Cost of arm and a leg for no reason. High, high. Definitely could play a job in the middle of the park. So he's very good. He's got those Leipzig links. And there are a lot of good Leipzig cards out there. As you saw, the team of the season in Kunku. Which is not from the Bundesliga. So he won't be reviewing it in this video. But he's got everything almost club 90. He's got 89 pace. 93 shooting. He's got, the, he's got that 90-odd balance. He's got good composure. He's got good dribbling as well. Then the physicals, 96 stam, 87 strength. Defending, a little more to be desired, but obviously chem styles will help correct it. Injury prone, meh. Outside the foot, eh. Alaba, no. Davies. Now Davies is 4-star, four 4-star, four high medium. He's probably a perfect guy to play out on the wing. He's got 99 pace regardless. You don't need to put a chem style on that. Then you've got your shooting, which is very nice, because you do sometimes need to be able to take a shot with your fullback. His passing... He can't pass the ball long, but he can pass it short. That's really all we learned. Then his dribbling is very good, considering he's very nippy and very quick. He's got that good dribbling stat, and he's got good ball control. Defending is nice, too. Like, he's got... 89 interceptions, which is good enough for a winger. And then he's got 90 stam, which is important if you're going to run him up and down the field. He's also got decent jumping, decent aggression. 
Then we've got Andre Silva. This card's been done a little dirty. Here's four star skills, three star weak foot, medium, medium. Like, this card's been done a little dirty. If I pack him, I'll be happy because I'm a Wolves fan and he's been rumored to go to Wolves. So I'll be happy with this card. But he's medium, medium, four star, three star, six foot. He should, he should have got a much better card, because he's not far off. I mean, I say not far off. Lewandowski's having the season of his life. But he's doing very well for Frankfurt. He's got... The pace splits are... Eh. The shooting is very clinical. He's got 99 pens. He's got a lot of good stats in there that you like to see. The passing's good outside of free kick accuracy. He's got good agility, decent-ish balance. Very good reactions, very good ball control and dribbling. The heading is nice. The jumping's nice. So, corner threat 101. Got decent-ish stamina. He's got 86 strength, which is air. And then he's got outside the foot. And we've got Mukiele, who's not in that. He's in the other one. Bailey, the same. Angelino, we've got four-star weak foot, three-star... I mean, four-star skills, three-star weak foot. On a left back with left foot. I mean, it's not the worst, because it's probably what you want in terms of positioning for a player on that side. Then you've got 90 pace with 99 acceleration but only 82 sprint speed. I don't know whether that's good or bad. Shooting is decent enough. He's got 93 shot power but his finishing is only at 70. So that's going to be a little bit sus if you try to take a shot with him. Then his passing is pretty good which is important for a fullback slash guy you'll play in a 3-5-2 at like a left mid which is what I do with my Jordi Alba. Then his balance is good. His agility could be better, but it's good enough. His reactions, his ball control, his dribbling, very nice. His stamina is good for running down that wing. And then most importantly, and I say this full knowingly, <laughs> that, I mean, he's got 92 aggression. So it is what it is. Then we've got LaCroix, who is extinct, I believe, on the console at the moment. He's got 90 pace, which is to be expected. He's got 90 defending as well. He's got 94 physical. There's not much more I can say about this card. No traits, though, and Angelino's got early crosser, flare, outside the foot, and that's about it in terms of AI traits. I mean, normal traits. But it's just... I don't know what the hype is behind this card. Like, yes, he's six foot three, but he's two star, two star, medium, medium. Like, is that really a good card? Who knows? Who knows? And then we've got Nkunku, who we're not reviewing. Baku. Three star skills, four star weak foot, five nine in height. He is right footed on the right side, which is probably what you'll want. Then we have ourselves. 95 pace, but only 85 defending, like you definitely need maybe a sentinel or a backbone on this card would help. Because you need to up that strength, you need to up some of the tackling stats. The defending is a little sus, I know he is a silver though, so that probably does explain it. He probably doesn't have much defending as a silver, but his pace is very nice. Don't really need to touch that, and his dribbling isn't the worst either, he's got 99 balance, 94 agility. His composure's not the best, but you're not really relying on him to shoot. Then we have any more. I believe that's it. That's it in terms of that. So now we're going to go look at the rest of the content. In the form of the SBC section. We've got Maxi Cruz, who is a solid card, I won't lie. Very solid card indeed. 90 pace, 92 shooting. He is 4 star, 4 star high medium, so he's not. he's got very good stats for an attacker. He's got very good everything. Even his dribbling. He's got 85, so obviously you might want to improve that. And Engine is probably the best for most of these. Or, or a Maestro, I don't know, it depends on when you want to play him. Like, if I was to do this card, I'd probably play him in the cam spot, not the striker. Then we've got Douglas Costa, who is... He's just a better version of Leon Bailey, except Leon Bailey has a better weak foot. I Good, we're still recording. My computer just went off for a second. He's got five star skills. Shooting's pretty good. There's not much more I can say. He's injury prone. He's got flair. He doesn't have many of the good shooting traits, though. Bailey's just better for you, really, if you want someone who's quick and who can shoot and do all that, because Bailey's got a four star weak foot. 
Lazaro as well. Bundesliga right back. 97 pace. 83 physical, a bit sus. 87 defending, but he can't head. There's not much I can say about this card, but obviously he's five star skills, but only three star weak foot. Flare trait. Then we have any more. We do have that moments Lingard, but I'll do that for a video. And then we've got Kostic, but I mean, Kostic should get a team of the season. Coutinho, I believe that might be it for the Bundesliga in terms of those. But we'll go to the last few because there's a few more cards. There's two more cards to look at and whether you should complete them or not. Because I can't really say, oh, this card is good, this card is bad. It's up to you at the end of the day and your preference. But we've got Flashback Roussillon, who has 93 pace, 86 defending, 88 physical. All good stats. I would definitely recommend completing this card. I will probably complete this card mid-week, as I don't have icon swaps to do. And I may use him, but Jordi Alba's very good as well. He's a good Flashback, 88, 89 rated. He, he perfect links to that Lacroix if you really want to use him, or he gets a strong link to the likes of a Moments Desai or a Moments Blanc. And there are lots of good French players to link him regardless, so I'm sure you will find a purpose for him anyway. Then, the final card is the Squad Battles objective, which is the Squad Battles objective. He won't be on this page, he won't be on this page, Jesus. Where is he? Where is the boy? He's not on this page either. Good to know. Thank you, EA. Where is he? Where is the man? Here he is, Amiri, who is a very good-looking card. Team of the season moments, five star skills, three star weak foot, right foot medium medium. He's got decent dish stats. 88 pace, 86 shooting, 95 dribbling is very nice. Very nice on this card. His balance and his agility splits are nice. Ball control, dribbling, all that sort of stuff. You know how it is. Physicals, nice too. Outside the foot shot, is good for those long shots. And good for just any shot that you might need. I mean, it's three-star weak foot though, so... Are you really going to be relying on unless it's on his strong foot? But anyway, that is the end of the video. Like, subscribe, come to the YouTube, I mean, come to the Twitch. <laughs> Hit the follow button. Get involved with the content, and I'll catch you all in the next one.